Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the world of no teenagers. I know we got two brand new twin baby girls um, and no teenagers to help with anything. So <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Why are we crying? <laughs> She's having an emotional meltdown. All right, so first things first, we need to get Amara pregnant again. Everyone's just crying. Same day. I kicked both of the teenage twins out of the house. Let's invite somebody over. Is Mario Randall the one that was trying to show us up at uh, the talent showcase? Because he's definitely my next pick. And he's coming over. Ah, uh, yes, it is. The man who shows us up. I want to invite him to dance. Oh, okay, so we're dancing and flirting. That works. I just want to be like, look, dude, you may have more musical talent than me, but you are not out of my league. This is also going very fast. It's probably because we're both feeling confident. Ah, oh, farts. My kid's crying. Uh, hold on, sweetheart. Uh, sweet Mario boy. Uh, let me just change this shit butt right now, and uh, and then we can, you know, do the thing. That was nice and quick. Great job, buddy. <laughs> oh, hello, my children who are home from school. A B student still, Lana, and a C student? What the hell? You guys aren't even sad. You have no excuse to be shitty students. I guess Giovanni's sad for some reason. This is cute, though. I love it when they do homework together. You can't sit that high up because you're not wearing pants. All right. It took, like, the whole freaking day, but Maximilian is potty trained. Every time I sit down to do something one of the babies starts crying we only got one more day of this just one more day and then they can be toddlers and sit on their ipads all day what the hell i have sat down to make this app four freaking times what the hell now the other kid's crying ah! and you know what having a teenager in the house wouldn't even help anyway because they'd be at school right now oh damn it's a friday so if lana doesn't age up today she ain't gonna age up for like three more days better make me proud. Her skills are up. I made her do extra credit. There's no reason why she shouldn't, but it would be nice to have some help around here. Yay! Now we can have a birthday party, Lena. Giovanni's still a C student? Is it because he has to pee? Like, is he okay? Blue confetti cake? That sounds fun. I don't think I've ever made that before. Ah, uh, farts. I can't make a freaking cake without my baby crying. Now we need to throw a party. Lana banana. Would you go fix your freaking baby? How can you not? How? How? She's saying she can't reach it, but she's stood there. It, what? What? Why? Why all of a sudden can you not reach the baby? You've reached it 5,000 times, but sure. I'll bring the baby to you, Amara. Pain in my ass. Lana, just blow out the candles or some shit. I just, I don't have, what? Okay, add some birthday candles first. Because your mom was supposed to do that. She didn't. But since you're a fully capable, almost adult, where are you? Where is she? Just thinking about it? Are you going to do it? Are you just going to stare at the cake? Thank you! Make a freaking wish, sweetheart. Cool. Just a reminder, I do use a random number generator for every single trait I pick out. I just don't usually show everybody, but I feel like now I have to use this disclaimer every time because people like to try to tell me I'm not allowed to pick traits if I don't show it. People don't understand that I'm doing this. Okay. All right. So she's all about the knowledge here. Specifically, she's a computer whiz like her mom, but she's also evil, unlike her mom. And she's also clumsy. She's evil, clumsy, and smart. I I love her, except that top, honey. That top needs to change. But that hair is cute. Oh, you think you can just go in my fridge, Rick? Everyone, you all are gonna go in my fridge? Well, fuck all you guys. Fuck all you guys. Yes, they're all just going in my fridge. Ooh, but we can age the babies up in an hour and a half. What you doing, Amara? Just hanging out by yourself. Can we just age these babies up now? Let's do that. Because I'm freaking over it. Hey, it's Max Samillion's birthday. Oh, Lily. We'll have a birthday party for Maximilian tomorrow. All right, so Lily is silly. Silly <laughs> Lily. <laughs> Let's age that one up. And Elena is wild. Oh, I was hoping one of them would be blonde like their mannequin dad. But So I'm kind of in the mood for some creative sim right now. I'm going to go ahead and give Lana the makeover that she deserves. And I'm obviously not going to film that because it's going to take me forever. So I'll be right back. So with Lana's makeover, since she's evil, I really turned to her dark side. But since she's like... Like a computer whiz too you know I, I kept the hair that she came with because it was nice and tied back but also that curly texture that
that she's had since, since she was a kid. I just put some makeup on her, changed her eyebrows, and like left her hair, and then just made her look like more of a boss ass bitch. Talk like a freaking pirate day. Why does this day come around as often as it does? So we're making about $280 from royalties right now. That is just simply not enough to keep up with our $5,000 bill demand. Would you put some clothes on? There are children in this house. The mailman keeps saying he can't reach our mailbox and I don't understand. Like it won't let me put it any closer. I mean, I'm still getting my mail. The mailman just keeps complaining about having to throw it in the box. I don't get it. You know, Lana, how about you make a cake since your mom is taking freaking forever. Finally, cook grub. Oh, because it's talk like a pirate day. That's what we have to do. All right, that's annoying, but okay. Stop talking to people. You need to go here and make a freaking cake. It's five o'clock in the afternoon. Maximilian was supposed to have a party a day ago. Why is he angry? It's his freaking birthday. Cause, oh, because his sister's being mean to him. She really is evil. Thank you. Hooray. Maximilian is an artistic prodigy and he's also a slob. Great. Nope. No. Damn it. Why is everyone so good at grabbing cake these days? Wait a minute, where are you? Oh, Sonny, of course. Uh, Sonny's one that I didn't get to show you his makeover. Um, I think he wants to be famous, so obviously the jacket. Come on. Let's talk like a pirate to someone. I feel like there aren't that many, like, pirate interactions. Ahoy! Sell all these things in my inventory because I don't care. This is a pretty good form of income too. Like if I just keep having babies and keep aging them up, people will give me toys and then I just sell them all. Dude, I feel like these twin girls are like really fast learners. Great job, Elena. Now, Lana, you need to potty train your other sister. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're in labor. We're in labor. Get off the phone. You need to go to the hospital. What's up, Doc? He's all like... So you're here again, huh? Alrighty, we have another girl. This is my favorite part. I'm really starting to like this part of our series here where I get to read your guys' comments and see what kind of names you like. As a disclaimer, I'm about like two episodes behind on this. So, cause the episode that you guys watched last, I just posted. So like there's not very many comments on there. So I'm reading comments from the episode before, if that makes any sense. Brianna Rivera says, Violet for a girl. I think that's cute. I'm down for Violet Beauregard. No multiples this time. As always, continue to leave me baby name suggestions down below. Who are we calling the hangout? Ooh, yes, uh, Big Ear Boy. Excuse me, child. Amara, you be a parent right now. And then come down here and greet Big Ear Boy. See, he's a young adult. He looks like an old guy, but he's totally not. He got big old ears, boy. I swear, Brooks, if you give our children your giant ears, we're gonna have a problem. Hurry, Amara, go make your move, girl. Are you kidding me? Come here, get out of that shower, girl. We got more important things to do. I will continue to keep trying to pee on this stick. Hooray. And now everyone must go to school. Goodbye, sweet children. Have a good day at school. Study hard, make mama proud. Quit stomping off like a little bitch, Giovanni. All right, time to get potty help from mama. Oh, Lana can move out. Oh. Kind of bittersweet, but hey, how about you cook yourself a cake and throw yourself a party and get the hell out? Why are you being sad? She's sad because she's sad and she had a bummer school day. Well, you know what? You're not even in high school anymore. You're about to have a birthday party and get the hell out. How depressing though. <laughs> to have to make your own birthday cake <laughs> as a teenager. Like, that's so shitty. <laughs> oh, chill. Not a very big birthday party, but you know what? It's something. Make a wish, you party animal. Lana is also non-committal, so. All right. Wow, this bathroom is a damn mess. One of these days we'll fix it, right? So now Elena huh? is level three and everything, and even though her twin sister just simply is not ready, and we don't have a full cake anymore. Girl, time to make another cake. Listen, you're gonna learn how to cook before you leave this house because now your sister needs to blow out the candles. Oh, stop with this shit. Seriously, I'm getting so fucking sick of this not being able to reach the baby shit. Someone told me I can lock doors. Everyone but Amara. No, get the hell out. Yeah, you think it stinks in here? Probably because I need to do shit for my baby. Now get the fuck out. No! Oh my god, get out of this room. What is he doing? I literally hate that everything is the way it is in this game with babies. I hate it so much. All right, Elena needs help 
blowing out the candles. The birthday party did just end, but that's okay. And then, yeah. when your sister is ready to join us, Elena is a social butterfly, but she's also gloomy. She's a little emo. How cute. I like her little galaxy shirt. I can't wait to give her an emo makeover. We are very close to the potty skill being all the way up. And also, I think it's Violet's birthday now. All right, potty level three. Let's go blow out the damn candles, mom. So just like her sister, she's also a social butterfly, but she's mean. So we got a gloomy <laughs> twin and a mean twin. Girl, why? Oh, farts. Okay, yeah, kids are supposed to be doing projects too. Damn it. And now let's kick Lana out of this house. Damn, my house full of hot men. They're all old now. <laughs> all right, hot doctor, where are you? Is that you, hot doctor? Landon, yeah, 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 all right. All right, Lana, go live with your dad. Bye, love you. Back to no teenagers again. Man, it sucks. Like, I mean, I guess it's a good thing because we're getting people in and out of the house really fast, but like, my teenagers don't last very long. It's like, they go to school like one or two days and they're like, bye. Is it Violet's birthday? Yes, it is. All right, Violet. Time to age up, boo-boo. Violet is in Sheldon. Oh, love her. Oh, you have black hair. Oh, just like your grandma, yeah, you Andrea. No time for nonsense, though, kid. Time to get going. Draw with Llama. Yeah. Violet is really doing great here. Because she's been sitting here talking to Sunny the whole time. I don't even know why Sunny's in our house still. But you know what? I'll take it. Her communication skill has been up. Because Sunny is glitched to just be living in our house again, apparently. I mean, I wonder if this guy is okay. Cause like, he hasn't eaten anything the whole time he's been here. He's just hanging out, talking to this baby. I mean, I don't want to kick him out of the house because he's doing some, some good stuff. But what if he, like, dies? Then I'd be responsible for my own son's death. Can't do that. Oh, boy. We went a long time. We went this whole episode without someone dying. But who is it now? Wesley. Was that our buddy Holly brother? I think so. Aw. Well, you know, we can all just be sad for two more days. It's fine. Losing someone close? Really, kid? You've never met Wesley. Hey, it's the lottery! Gotta buy a lottery ticket! Maybe we'll actually win this time. Okay, excuse me. Why aren't you at school? Oh, you're crying in a bed? Maximilian cheated on his spelling bee and got a small performance gain, so that's good. Now, what in the hell is going on here? Sonny, haven't you been here for two days straight? In this room? You haven't left? Are you okay? Oh! Oh, Giovanni, finally an A student. Well, 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 Amara, I think it's time that we threw a party for Giovanni. Stop dancing and go cook a cake. Giovanni, come blow out the candles. Make a wish, kiddo. Oh, Giovanni's a family man. He wants to be a super parent. Oh, stop it. That is so cute. So he's domestic. He's a glutton. He's also a music lover. Aw. Oh. Okay, Giovanni, I see you. You gonna be a hot dad or something? Well, not with that shirt. Oh my god. <laughs> well, we'll have to change that shirt, but you'll be a hot dad after that, right? Well, Giovanni, I am so excited to give you a makeover and get rid of that shirt. I don't know why the game loves that shirt. I don't know why it puts it on everybody. Boys and girls, I don't get it. Sunny is still here. <laughs> Well, I bet by the time we go to the hospital for this baby that we don't pop out, he'll probably just disappear or something. Oh boy, we're in labor. Oh, okay. We have room for the possibility of another set of multiples, so that would be cool, but then we'd have a full house, but I don't know. All right, another girl. Let's see. What do you guys want to name the next girl? Oh, okay. Love this. Um, J. Loof AZ asked for Shyla for a girl and Remington for a boy, so we'll do Shyla. But she also says that Shyla Shyla and my daughter Sparrow have the same birthday, and that is so cute. So definitely Shyla, yes. <gasps> we had twins, Sparrow. And now we got full house, baby. Okay, who else got a girl name here? Ben Cooper suggests Ivy for a girl. Um... I'm gonna do that because I have a cousin named Ivy and I know she watches my videos. So, hi Ivy and hi Ben Cooper. Thanks for the name suggestion. <laughs> so we got Shyla and Ivy, that is so cute. And now really we have a house full of girls pretty much except for Hot Dad and Maximilian, I guess. Oh, how exciting! 
<laughs> I'm gonna end this episode here because now I can't get pregnant until we kick Hot Dad out. I'm just gonna keep calling Giovanni Hot Dad. Okay, guys, as always, keep leaving me your name suggestions down below. I'm so loving this new part of our series. Amara, are you gonna help these babies or what? Yeah, you get your buns up here. I think we're gonna go from having a really full house to a really empty house real fast because kids are gonna start turning into teenagers and all this stuff, so. No, you do not go eat cake right now. Amara, are you kidding me? Ivy needs to be fed. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.